Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think you'll agree that gun dog display was inspirational. So, uh, thank you to Matthew Bottomley and the team. Let's give them a big uh, round of applause once again, ladies and gentlemen. I think he'll agree, sensational. And incidentally, you could see all the help that you could give them on the screen a few moments ago, but in fact, you would also go to Hall 2, Stand uh, 5, and you can uh, learn more about it and also help them there as well. Well, on this Super Saturday, we are chockered. It's so good to have you with us. But may we ask you, if you have some empty seats around you, would you be kind enough to move up and just uh, make sure the empty seats are on the end of the row? Because we've got some people who want to come and join us, and we want to give them every opportunity. So please, if you have some empty seats nearby, do move up, and uh, let's make room for everyone here this afternoon. Well, coming up today on Gun Dog Day here on Super Saturday at Crufts, delighted to have now one of the famous uh, gun dog teams, Philippa Williams, with the Levin Gill Gun Dogs. Always Labradors. Here we've uh, got uh, three field trial champions in our uh, display this afternoon. And all in all, they've made up seven field championships. From York, it's one of the best names in town. Give her a very big welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Philippa Williams. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Gun Dog Day at Crufts. Yeah. Right, we just introduced the team now. First of all, our youngest member of the family, which is little Odie. He's just six months old. Oh, golden retriever. He's not a hairy Labrador. He's a golden retriever. So that's little Odie. Um, then we're going to go on to the flat coat. This is uh, Pokey Wogey, Pogo. There we go. Um, and then we've got, um, who have we got? We've got Boise Bonkers with a head full of conkers. Field trial champion, Birds Green Street reward of Castleman's. Boise. Good lad. That's a good man. So these dogs are taught to go on their name as well as a hand signal because when we're out picking up, we might have six or eight dogs at any one time working. So then we've got uh, Lemongill uh, Jacana. There we go. He's a field trial winner, so a lot of field trial winners, a lot of field trial champions and babies and everything else in between. Then we've got his brother, Levengil Kudu. Yeah, also been placed this season in his first trialing season. And as you can see, all these dogs have been trained with toys and sweeties and all the things that are going to ruin a very good gun dog, you understand. And then we have that Sally uh, Richardson with Carsman's Malusi, her young Goldie. Now this young Goldie here, this puppy, is probably going to be better trained at six months of age than a lot of your dogs will ever be. So that's it on well done, Sal. So insisting that Rowan does as he's told, just because we're here in the ring showing off, doesn't mean to say that we can't get it right. And then we've got field trial champion Levengill Lionheart, known as Brave. Good lad. Good. And then, la, who have we got there? We've got Sully's other dog, um, Baggins, also a field trial winner. So all of these dogs are working to a very high standard. <laughs> right, now, we've got some young man here, Levengill Isle of Arran, field trial champion, Levengill Isle of Arran. Monkey, monkey, ready? Chimp, get on. Oh. What a shame. He says, I'm retired, I shouldn't be here, mother. Should we try again? Yeah? All right, all call his name then, monkey. Ready, monkey? Good lad. Well done, monkey. Get on. Monkey, get on. Yeah, he's a good lad. Well done. Monkey, come. Yay! Come on, young man. So have we forgotten anybody? Does anybody know her name? Can we say it a bit louder? So we got Naughty Pan, Secret, Secret come, Secret come, Sst, good girl, get on, yeah. <laughs> well done, thank you very much, give everybody a round of applause. Well done. So we're just going to pop the spare dogs away now, and just a few little exercises, boys, monk. Just remember here now, boys and girls, that realistically all your commands should be quiet, gentle, soft in tone. We want the dogs to be enjoying the exercises, not thinking it's a threat or anything else like that. Lie down. Boise, lie down. Monkey, lie down. Good. Secret come. 
We try and make our training as, as enjoyable as possible. <laughs> Sorry, got to turn the music on. In her spare time, she does her own little imaginary here work to music, nothing to do with me. I just stand there. <laughs> Good, she lives in her own little world, love her. I live in mine. Sometimes we meet, lots of the times we don't. <laughs> right, so we can start off with a puppy here, little Odie there, doing a nice little sit up and hold, just calling him in. Then we've got Nikki doing a slightly more advanced um, exercise. Oh gosh, my, my fillet, fillet pheasants are shrinking somewhat. Um, now we're going to go on to visual cues. So we like the dog to learn a visual cue first because they're visual learners. They learn through observation and watching. Yeah, you know, no, no, good girl. The human language is really for our benefit. They're not that good at listening, but they are good at, very good at watching. So we do the visual cues first, and then once we've got a visual cue, well done, good girl. Then we start to add an audible cue. So could, good girl. So that's our little come forward hunting, just to get the dog to appreciate our hand signals and work it out from there. So what are we doing now, girls? Pushbacks. Oh, very good, pushbacks. So, when we first uh, start doing any sort of retrieving, it's all straight line work. Everything is straight line work. We want the dog to go in a straight line, as fast and as efficiently and as enthusiastically as possible. Once we've got that, we'll start to do this, which is pushing them back. And as you can see, Sally's got a little handle lead on Odie. And that's just to make sure he turns on the right shoulder and the left shoulder. And it might become apparent in a minute, or it may not, you never know what Secret's going to do, um, why we might want our dog to push it back on our left shoulder or right shoulder. So once we've got them going back on the left and the right, we can then start to add some distractions. So Secret doesn't know that this is down in this corner, although I'm sure she's got eyes in the back of her head. Good girl. Um, but she really, really does like this little pink ballie. That's really, really what pushes her little buttons to the top. So that's her distraction. Now, if you can appreciate, boys and girls, if I push her back with my right hand, as my right hand comes up, she may misconstrue and think she's coming forward to 20 past the hour as the exercise I've just done. So I'm not going to risk that mistake. I'm going to think for her because hopefully one might appreciate I am just a tiny little bit more intelligent. No, actually I'm not. No, we'll, we'll take that one out. Uh, so we're going to push her back with our left hand. Good girl. <laughs> that way she's not having to think, could it be that or could it be that? No, it's not. It's just where you're sending them. So try and make it as clear as possible to you and your dog as to what exactly is required. So what are we doing now, boys and girls? Rights and lefts. Here, have a have a have a have an owl. There we go. Right. So lefts and rights. Again, we differentiate between a left and a right. In other words, we give it two totally separate verbal cues or audible commands, depending, depending which way you want to go. So if the dog is out of sight behind a wall in a wood or something like that, it knows the difference between left and right. It's not just um, guessing at it. So we make a big difference between that. The way to get a really strong left and right is to leave the retrieve article in the same place and move the dog further and further away. The mistake people make is that they try and push the retrieve further and further away and actually the retrieve gets weaker and weaker, not stronger and stronger. And I'm really, really glad to see this little boy in here because he's come all the way to see Secret and we were really worried he might not get into the show because it was getting a bit full. So nice to see you. Hello, secret fan. I don't know who he is. They all just come and say hello to secret. So have we done our lefts and rights? Good. Um, secret, sit up, darling. Good girl. I never pop my dogs uh, into a position um, other than in sit. So once they're in down, that means stay in down. Don't move. OK, um, Erica, pop that. Jake, you do? Oh, good lad, good. So she's waiting till he has a little look. He's only a young dog. Waiting till he has a look, and she's pretty sure of where he's going to go. So this is an audible cue only, folks. Wait for it. Oh my gosh, it's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to go. Oh wait, yes. Good girl, well done. Good. Um, 
Please, I do appreciate that making a noise is an eliminating fault. I don't need to be told that by 3,000 people. I do appreciate it. she does make a noise, which is why she doesn't compete anymore. Um, my fault, I've wound her up, and I've done demos like this, and people think it's funny, so hey-ho. She's enjoying herself. Where am I? I'm over here. Ah, oh, dear. Right. Off we go. So we're going to do the stop whistle now, or the stop. How we would start to introduce the stop. From Odie down there, doing the little baby stages, and then working our way up to the more complex end up this end. So off we go then, boys and girls. As I said before, it's a visual cue to begin with. Good. Reward coming in sit, so the dog enjoys the command, it enjoys the visual cue. Good lass, good girl. It's getting hyped up here, folks. Forward, good. Now we're going to introduce her audible cue. Do you think she knows what I was going to do? Good girl. <laughs> good girl. Now we're going to put a 10 pound bet down. If we actually use our whistle, it's going to work. Don't worry, we know how to cheat if it doesn't. OK, girls, off we go, forward. Good girl. Good. Good. All right, we're going to leave them there. Is that right? Is that what we're doing? Someone give me a nod. You know, anybody in? Yeah, thank you. It's all right, they were my friends. They're now my carers. Don't worry about it. <sighs> little puppy there doing his little sit. Oh, instant little whistle. Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Not you. Oh, must be me. I'm famous. You're not that famous, young lady. Come on. Come on, you. Da -da -da. Right, we go. Mm, good girl. But it takes a long time to teach her to be that naughty, you know? <sighs> Practice. Is it moving? Is it? You thought it was a gun dog display. It's a pantomime. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Okay, Nick Nick, off you go. Nicky's going to call a pokey in. She's going to use a hand signal and the toy. Good boy, well done, good. Lovely. They do say it take, you can train three Labradors in the same amount of time to teach, uh, train two golden retrievers to one flat coat. You do need a big sense of humour. <sighs> right, broad shoulders. I'm going to do a voice. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, uh, secret come. Good girl. Secret come. She could come. Good girl, well done. Okay, next. Good, 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 good. Well done, Erica. Lovely, nice. Amy. Good boy. Well done, everybody. Well done. Well done. Woo! What are we doing now? Walk up. Oh my gosh, we're running out of time. Hurry, hurry, we've got to do the grand finale. Monkey, Boise. Oh, lasso the spaniel, Max. Lasso the spaniel, please. Oh, it's a beast. It's a beast. It's a secret, come here, good girl. Oh, am I in the wrong place? Oh, looks like I am. Oh, monkey, come on. This way. Good boys. Right. All right, right, in gear, bring in gear, bring in gear. Okay, I'll be ready. Line up, nice and walk up. So we're on the moor. Good imagination, boys and girls. Come on, let's get into line. We're on the moor. Get in. We've got, oh, a mark retrieved down the end of the line. Oh, look, look. Whee, there we go. Good lad. So the dog should run the line until it's hit shot scent. Once it's hit shot scent, it should be retrieving blood scent or shot scent, not game scent. So these dogs should be able to pass live game without disturbing them at all. They're looking for shot scent and blood scent. Off we go, girls and boys. So we'd have guns in line here. <laughs> Good lad. We'd be having the spaniels working in here as well. Maxie, you need to come into line, please. That's it. Good. Okie dokie, off we go. So, at this instance, we've got maybe a bird shot in front, but someone said, oh, I think this, well, we've shot one behind, it's injured. It is absolutely paramount that injured or wounded game gets picked first or retrieved first. 
Anything that's dead can be picked by hand. Anything that's injured could get away, and it needs to be dispatched as quickly and humanely as possible. So that's your most important thing here. Off we go again. Scene retrieve. Lovely. And another dog sees this, but it's got to do as it's told. That's where it wants to go out in front. It's got to go behind. There's Bravey Boy. Lovely man. Look at these dogs. Good boys. Good. OK. What are we on to now, boys and girls? Oh, the grand finale. How posh. Well done. Right, so we've got a little mock-up here now. We've had a drive, that's where uh, the guns have been stood, birds have been driven over them, and uh, we've got some retrieves down. We're then told that some of these may have been injured, so we need to get these picked as quickly as possible. Um, so we're just gonna pop these out here. Have we got any left and right steps? And then we can get on. All right, team party going. Sorry, talk amongst yourselves, everybody. Any questions? No? <laughs> See you later. Right, so let's start off with... Are you ready, boys? Ready? Boys, get over. Good lad. Good boy. Whee! Oh, in between. I'm going to get in the way. Good lad. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy, good. Okay, and again, off you go. People keep going, keep going. Just send the dogs, we're running out of time. That's lovely. Good. Good luck, monkey. Good luck. Ready? Choo, get him. Get on, get on. Good luck, get in there. Oh, not in the chairs. He said, oh, there might be one by the chairs. Good lad, get on. Good lad. Good. Good lad. Oh, where well, have you got the flat coat going? Yay! Go on, go for the flat coat! Yay! Good lad. Good boy. Well done. Good lad. Good old lady. Boys, boys, get out. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Get on, get on. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Good lad. Jim, get over. Go on, get on. Good boy. Good. Good lad. Good boy. Good lad. So these dogs have to listen to all these whistles independently and be able to decipher who's who and what's what and who's saying whatever. And my dog's just devouring a, a retrieve. Boise, hello. Remember me? Oh, it's all right. It's only a pelican. It's all right. We don't do pelicans very often. They're a good man. Oh, now who's that sat out there? Can anybody guess? Oh, it's Monkey. Love his socks. Monk, you ready? Monk, hello, hello. Out! Yay! Good boy. Good lad, get in there. Right, should we try this is for Spaniel? I'm getting a bit of a stammer here. Good one. Good. good boy, man. Good boy. Right, anything can happen with the spaniels loose now, so hang on to your trousers, hang on to your seats. So you can get over. Oh. 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 Get in there.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've got to all go home and have a bit of a practice. What a wonderful demonstration we've seen uh, in the last half an hour. From, uh, I'm sure you're having a great time on this uh, Crufts channel, watching all the wonderful streaming we're able to give you at the fabulous events. And this, of course, was the Levengill Gun Dogs with Philippa Williams. What a terrific gun dog demonstration. You can't have failed to be enjoying that. Stay with us because we've got some great entertainment coming up. Once the arena's clear, we'll be setting up for the flyball team semi-finals. You've seen the quarterfinals. We've had some great flyball racing. But we're getting to the cream of the flyball teams coming in this afternoon to take part. Uh, we have the Flyball Incredibles versus the Dream Team, the Four Paws Flyers versus the Thistle Flyers. That promises to be an absolute cracker. Nuneaton Titans versus Nebworth, the Wilmslow Wagtails against Dream Team Southeast. That's the lineup. You're going to have some fun. It'll take a little time to set up. So we're going to have a little uh, reprise of what you've been able to watch or what you might have missed uh, on this channel this morning. Stay with us, we've got some great stuff coming up, but here's a reprise of what you might have missed.